Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is how I do calligraphy. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel if you appreciate this type of content, and let's go into the video. Here are the things I'll be needing um, to start off your calligraphy journey. These are a few things I've personally collected over the years. I have two Crayola markers here. One is just a regular fat one, and one is a Crayola super tip. This is a regular black gel pen. I have a Tombow dual brush pen, and I have two Tombow calligraphy pens. One is a hard tip brush pen, and one is a soft tip, and I'll be showing you how to use all these later. And I also have one, it's not a calligraphy brush, it's more like separate hairs that I got from the Dollar Tree. So a bunch of different varieties, plus some paper. I have some not lined paper, and they also have this printout that I got from Tombow USA with lines and dots. And that's what I'll be using um, for some helpful guidelines when I'm practicing. I'm first going to be showing you how I'm going to be using all these different pens for calligraphy. So the first one is this black gel pen, and this one is perfect for practicing your cursive. Um, I use this one mostly to help me uh, with the up and down strokes. This is called faux calligraphy. It's where you do normal cursive, and then you just go back over it with darker lines on when you went down to make it look like it's cursive even though you really didn't. That's what this pen is used for. And you can see me doing that here with the up and down strokes using that black gel pen that I was talking about. Just making sure I have the up and down strokes all down before I go into real calligraphy with these brush pens. Now I'm going in with that thick uh, Crayola marker. Here I'm going to be showing you the tip of it. It is uh, a very thick cone and that kind of was what makes it nice for specifically calligraphy. This marker was a bit dried out so it was a little hard to use but you can kind of see what I'm doing here with the up and down strokes making sure that the down strokes are thick and the up strokes are thin using this marker. For this marker specifically, you really have to press down to get that shape that you want. I will say that it ruins these markers a bit, but these are kind of like the family coloring book markers for all my siblings, so it'll be fine. That is it for the thick Crayola marker, and now I'm going to be moving on to the thinner and smaller Crayola Super Tip. This one is specifically mine that I bought in a 100 pack for my bullet journal. I use this for their color variety, but I've also found that these are like a great source for doing calligraphy. And these ones are a lot easier than the thicker ones to do the calligraphy with the up and down strokes. It's smoother and this one had more ink because it's newer. And I like these ones better. This makes a smaller calligraphy font than the one above. So if you're looking for different varieties as thick or bigger calligraphy and smaller calligraphy goes. Uh, the smaller ones are for the smaller calligraphy. The next one I'm doing is more of a professional brush pen. Uh, this is a Tombow hard tip brush pen. You can't really see, but this one is a navy blue color and the Another Tombow brush marker I'm going to be showing you later is a green. When you're writing with a difference between these, uh, the blue one is really hard. And that makes it easier to control, but it also makes it harder if you're looking for a bigger calligraphy. That's why I normally use it for my weekly spreads, as you'll see later in the video, or I will, yeah, smaller calligraphy. So this one is perfect if you really want to have that small font. Uh, for your bullet journal or for other needs. This brush pen is known throughout the bullet journal community as being a really good brush pen, but for me it's a bit too hard and I prefer the soft tipped ones or there's a really cool Tombow brush pen that's dual ended and that one has a really good black calligraphy pen that I appreciate more than this pen. Again because it's so hard and it is like almost the same hardness as these 
Crayola thick markers. The next brush pen I will be using is this Tumble Dual Brush Pen. These I like to use a lot for color as well, but these are the second biggest calligraphy font pen that I have used, uh, as in big wise. So the third one would be uh, that thick Crayola marker that I tested out to begin with. So these ones take up a lot of room, but I think that they are the perfect hardness and softness. Once you keep on writing with them, they turn softer and softer and it makes it so much easier for your spreads. And I really like how these ones write. Now moving on to the next brush pen, it is the Tombow Soft Tip Brush Pen. But I quickly wanted to show you kind of the difference between the hard tip and the soft tip. Um, again, it's kind of hard to see here. I tried to, the top one is the hard tip and the bottom one is the soft tip. I was just kind of trying to show you the difference between them because they write like totally different, even though the outsides are the same. So here is how much more flexible it is than the other one. Just testing it out again. This one uh, was bigger than the other one, and I appreciate this one a lot more. This I prefer using for my weekly spreads. It's another one of those smaller ones, but like could be used for bigger ones if you really slow down. And then we'll move on to the last marker. And here is the final one. This one my sister got me from Dollar Tree and I'm trying to show here that they're like not one whole pen. All the rest of these pens were like one whole tip. This one has like separate hairs, but this one is like so flexible. I only use this one if I'm like determined to like practice. I don't ever use it in my bullet journal or anything. It's mostly just like if I wanna have fun and like try super hard calligraphy. I have four of these markers and you can check that out in my pen swatching video that I will link in the cards above as long as all and all these pens will be in that video too. Here you can also tell that the this brush pen was the largest size and then second was the Tombow dual brush pen and then third was that bulky Crayola marker. Now I'm moving into five steps for learning calligraphy. The first step, as it said, was practice your cursive. This is a major part of calligraphy because calligraphy is cursive, except with thick and thick thick and thin lines. So here's what you should practice as I'm practicing on this random sheet of paper I found, is instead of doing tight cursive where all your letters are closer together and it's harder to do calligraphy with that, practice spreading out your letters and making them a little smaller but more spread out as this one will be easier for you to practice your calligraphy with. And now after this, I am going into the second step, which says practice your up and down strokes. Here I am going on the Tombow USA website. They have some printables that I ended up using that I showed you at the beginning, and so this is how you get to them. I just typed in uh, the Tombow online lettering worksheets and up cop popped a website. These do come with the whole alphabet if you wanted to print all those out to practice all your letters. But all I wanted was the dotted lined pages, so I ended up just printing the top one. I just ended up printing the first page, or no, the second page twice. So here is how the worksheet turned out. It has the dots in the middle and also the lines on top. A lot of the time, if you don't have a printer or something, just um, copy this on paper. You can use any markers you have and you just use a ruler to make them. Uh, so here I am starting off with the thick Crayola Super Tip that is harder to work with. 
and I ended up just practicing my ups and down strokes. So the purpose of this is to get a feel for how to do all the letters. When you go up, it should be thinner, and when you go down, it should be thicker. And I quickly wanted to add on in here that the hand position that you hold your pen in when you do calligraphy needs to be able so that the pen will be able to, you can push it down far enough that it'll make a mark and then be able to lift it so it doesn't barely make a mark. And finding the perfect hand position is kind of tricky. So obviously uh, practicing a lot will help you with this. Step three is practicing the entire alphabet. If you are going to trying to be consistently using this, practicing all the letters in the alphabet can be to your advantage learning how all of them are shaped, and again, practicing that thick downstroke and then the thin upstrokes will help you. And I'm using this whole sheet again, so that way I can get the um, spacing correctly and I didn't want them to go over the line for handwriting practice. The second to last step in practicing calligraphy is putting your words together. So when you write your words singly, it helps you with um, practicing the up and down strokes, but when you put them all together, it's really hard to do. But make sure that you're practicing, make sure that you're doing this in your free time, uh, just so it will look better and you'll get better. The fifth and final step to mastering your calligraphy is to keep on practicing. I have multiple books filled to the brim with tons of calligraphy. This is my first ever bullet journal. I will link the official flip through up above. I just wanted to show how far my calligraphy has come from what it used to be. Me just really struggling and not really knowing what I'm supposed to be doing. So again, following these steps and printing out these calligraphy worksheets will really help you out. Practicing your calligraphy, these will all help you like so much so i'll just show you a quick flip through of most of my sketchbooks and how far you can see i've come all the practicing i've done with my different brush pens and all that Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my calligraphy sketchbook journal flip through and also all the steps I had for to share. I know that there's a ton of videos out there that teach you about calligraphy, but I thought I would add in my own voice throughout um, all the YouTube voices out there. Make sure to like and subscribe if you liked this type of content and I'll see you next Friday at 6.45 on my channel.